where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at. Uh, saying thanks to my kids, let's do some voicemail. The crazy, so this segment I started because I've been finding myself saying ridiculous shit to our sons all the time. Things I never thought I would, even like words I wouldn't normally put together in sentences I'm now saying. Um, like last week it was, stop licking me or we'll go right to sleep. Because he just kept licking my arms and my face. Uh, like he puts his hand in my butt crack. That's always like, get your hand out of my ass. Stop hitting me. I say that at least 500 times a day. Stop hitting me. You're hurting me. Ouch. The dog doesn't like that. Okay, but here's some crazy shit moms say. Let's do a voicemail first if we can. Mr. Hey, Gene. Uh, I've actually got a pretty cool um, uh, saying that I never thought I'd say to anybody else. Uh, to another human being. Um, so there was one night I was laying on my uh, stomach with my son while he's watching cartoons, and I feel a uh, burst of liquid go down my butt crack. Um, I didn't know what to say, so of course the first thing out of my mouth is, uh, dude, please don't spit milk down my butt crack again. <laughs> uh, Honestly, I didn't think I'd, uh, those words would ever come out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. All right. Keep mine tight. Thank you. Yeah. See? That's what I'm talking about. We were like, do I really have to tell this person not to spit milk down my butt crack? Yeah, you do. It's called being a parent. You have to explain everything in glorious detail. Every ounce of being human, you have to explain. Okay, let's do another voicemail. These are great to listen to. Hi, Christina. So this is for the things that you would never have think you had to say to a kid. Um, I work as a nanny, and a couple weeks ago, I had to tell the girls that I nanny that you can't flush muffins down the toilet. <laughs> so, yeah, um, piss on me, beat me. Love you. Love you. Yeah, you can't flush muffins down the toilet. You have to explain that to people. <laughs> <sighs> All right, next. I love these. Hey, teens. My name is Sarah. I have a five-month-year-old baby girl who is exclusively breastfed. So something that I say that I didn't think I would ever say is, please take my left nipple. (laughs) She always prefers the right side when breastfeeding, which leaves my left side super engorged. So I'm always begging, please eat the left nipple. Take the left (laughs) nipple. Thanks, Jean. Right. Who would ever in a million years take my left nipple? You would never say those words to anybody. And that's true. I heard that's very common that they always, uh, they prefer one side. Mine always, yeah, one, mine always preferred my lefty. So righty was just useless. All right. We got one more voicemail. Let's hear it. Crazy shit I say to my kids. Hey, mommies. Um, I was calling about crazy things you say after you have kids. And of course, that's all the classic, you know, get your finger out of your butt or out of your nose or whatever. But one that kind of was new for me recently was I was changing my two-year-old's diaper and he had like little turds that kind of piled into like one flat big turd. And so after we were done, like an amateur, I picked the diaper up and his turd fell on the floor (gasps) and he went to go pick it up and I Uh. screamed. And, of course, then, you know, he cried, and he said, I want the cookie. (laughs) And what I said was, no, buddy, it's poop, not a cookie. (laughs) So that was something new um, recently Uh, was, you know, it's poop, not a cookie. It's poop, not a cookie, yeah. All right, have a good one. Love the show. Love you guys. I don't know how many times I've had to explain why you can't eat certain things and why cookies on the floor or floor cake isn't edible now. Don't put that on the floor. The dog's going to eat it. It's like 24-7, man. They just do crazy shit. All right. Here's another one. Um, for almost my okay, my almost three year old has a toy drill and she loves to pretend fixing things around the house. Earlier this afternoon, I find myself saying, Please don't drill mommy in the butt. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't I just say that? That's all Ellis wants to do. Is he shoves his hand in my butt. Super cool thing to say to your kid. Keep behind tight, Demi. Thank you, Demi. 
Yeah. Oh, here's another one. Um, we are in the midst of potty training our three-year-old. I say things like, don't put your finger in your butt and then eat chips. Go wash your hands. <laughs> no, you don't need to look at the poop on your butt in the mirror. Ugh. It's just, they always want to see it too. Stop touching your brother's penis when he's trying to pee. <laughs> it's on that one before. Oh, that one's better. I like that. Um, stop spitting into her face. Why would you do that? <laughs> If you didn't bring your potty cubes to class with you, you can't go to the bathroom until you get back to your class. The paint water is not chocolate milk. Don't drink it. <laughs> um, hilarious. Here's another butt crack one. Why do kids love butt cracks? I had to tell my five-year-old nephew that his butt wasn't a credit card machine as he kept swiping a casino key, room key in his butt crack, yes. Stop farting on the cat. Get your naked butt off of me. Your penis is getting stronger because you keep touching it. <laughs> that might be the one we finish on. That's amazing. Your penis keeps getting stronger because you're touching it. Fucking amazing. <laughs> you got to tell them it's so funny. You, you don't even think about these things. Like you take it for granted that you just know this stuff. But at some point, somebody had to tell you or you had to observe it from some other kid, right? Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? Where my mom's wearing thongs, hitting bongs at? Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? 